For another perspective on the debt negotiations and what it will take to reach a deal, we turn to two members of Congress. Republican Marsha Blackburn is in Nashville, Tennessee, and Arizona Democrat Roel Grijalva is in our Miami bureau. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Congressman Grijalva, I'll begin with you. It looks like a deal is no closer today than it was a week ago. In your opinion, what's holding up the process? I, I think what's holding up the process is, and I, and I agree with the president, that it's time we listen to the American public. American public is saying very clearly that they want essential programs, Social Security, Medicare, protected and enhanced for the future. And I, and I believe firmly that can be done without sacrificing uh, benefits and, and coverage for, for the American people that depend on these programs. Representative the American people are also saying... the. They're also saying you need to roll back those Bush taxes. You need to get and cut back those corporate by overwhelming numbers. So if maybe the will of the American people would play a role, we could get to a, to a deal. Congresswoman Blackburn, let me ask you, do you agree with that assessment? No, I do not agree with that. I think we have to realize we are not in this situation because the debt limit is too low. We're in this situation because we spend too much. And indeed, since this president took office, he has added $3.7 trillion to the national debt. The American people agree with us that it is time to cut the federal spending. It is time to cap it so that we never get into this situation again, and it is time for a balanced budget amendment. There is overwhelming public support for taking the approach that House conservatives are taking, and that is well, why we're pushing forward with well, it. Well, Representative Blackburn, uh, President Obama said yesterday the American people are on his side on this issue, and compromise has to be made. What's your response to that? Uh, I think that the most balanced plan that has been presented is the one House conservatives have brought forward. What we have said is, Mr. President, you may be kick the can down the road. We are the buck stops here, Congress. We are willing to put our plan on the table, which is exactly what we have done. We are willing to work to make certain that we cut this out of control federal spending. They have spent $7.3 trillion since the president took office. We are borrowing 40 cents of every dollar. And you know it doesn't matter if it is Democrat or Republican. It is too much let spending. Me, it is time to stop it. Representative Grijalva, let me bring you back into this just for a second. Let me ask you something. At the end of the day, could you support a plan that includes no tax increases on the wealthy? No. I, I, I think that we're in this fiscal mess because of 10 years of precisely those tax policies and those fiscal policies. And when we talk about spending, there's front door spending that we need to do and, and have done for, uh, with earned benefits like Social Security. Then there's backdoor spending that is also spending of, of government dollars, subsidies for big gas and big oil, the, the, if, the tax cuts to the richest 2%. Out. That is taxpayer money that is being spent. It's due. The definition of spending has to be broadened here. Well, Otherwise, the rules of engagement if, for, if for a compromise will never exist. Representative Blackburn, One go thing. ahead. Yes, if I may point out something, please. Uh, with the passage of Obamacare, it was the Democrats and the president that took $575 billion out of that program. Now we have a program that is too expensive to afford. It is an imperative that we put these spending issues. No. And every economist, whether they're liberal or conservative, every ratings agency says what we have to see from the Congress of the United States is a plan for how to deal with this out of control Representative federal Gerhalva, spending. Representative Gerhalva, 10 seconds for you, Representative Gerhalva. 575 billion that were part of the health plan and in the Ryan budget, Ryan took complete credit that as a deficit reduction. Find it interesting. Ryan's budget we that was passed by revenue. every Republican in the House is six trillion dollars mm. added to the debt. We don't to, have a revenue so, problem. Okay. We have a spending problem. All right. We're seeing an example of what's going on on Capitol Hill. Representative Roel Grijalva and Representative Marsha Blackburn. Something tells Thank me you we'll, so be, much. we'll be talking about this for quite a bit. We thank, thank you both for joining us this morning.